Zack Snyder's three-day Snyderverse event revealed a lot of interesting information. Hey everyone, welcome back to our movie news. From April 28th to April 30th, Zack Snyder held a DC event showing off all three of his DC films, with Q&A panels and special guests appearing. At the Full Circle event, Zack Snyder was asked some questions that gave back some very interesting answers that today we shall talk about. So first of all, we had many special guests, the biggest stars being Ben Affleck, Ray Fisher, Ray Porter, and Chris Terrio. They all appeared on the final day that screened Zack Snyder's Justice League. If you wish to watch all the streams over the three days, Vero have uploaded them to their YouTube channels, so make sure to check them out if you miss them. The main focus of the event is that they were able to raise a lot of money for AFSP and were able to celebrate the three incredible DC movies that Zack Snyder Snyder had created. I unfortunately wasn't able to watch the streams live, but it seems like an amazing fan event. Zack Snyder and the whole team who made this possible did a fantastic job and hopefully we can have more events like this in the future. And I want to emphasize that raising money for AFSP and celebrating Snyder's DC movies was the focus of the event, not getting any announcements or big surprises just celebrating what we already have and raising money for charity. But that doesn't mean we weren't hoping for some information regarding future Snyderverse movies. Now during the Q&A we had one fan asking about how Robin died in Snyder's timeline, and Snyder said he didn't want to reveal that information just in case those films happen. He said they may never happen, but he doesn't want to risk revealing that information if the films can be made one day. Now obviously that's a good mindset to have as a storyteller, and I'm not going to go saying this means Justice League 2 are definitely happening, because otherwise he would have said how Robin died, because that's not the case. Why this is so important to look at is it because it shows Snyder still hopes it can be made, and if he thought there was no way on earth that they could be made one day, then he would have revealed how Robin died. So Snyder still wants Justice League 2 and 3 to be created. That has always been the motivating factor as to whether or not we should move on. If Snyder moves on, then I will too. But Snyder has made it clear over and over again that he still wants to make these films, and from this event, he made that even clearer. That's the whole point. These are positive words from Snyder because it means he still wants to make them. Us fans who are pushing for the Snyderverse to be restored are not asking for something that Snyder doesn't want. He wants it to happen so the demand shall continue. The next big question asked was whether or not Snyder would be open to a third party making the Justice League sequels, such as Netflix. Have a listen. My question for you, sir, is uh, would you be overjoyed if uh, your stories were able to continue in any form, even if it was on a third party um, outside of WBD? Listen, but it's a good question. I think it's fair and it's exciting. And, and look, I love the world, and obviously, um, I not put a small amount of effort into the, into this um, mythology. And uh, you know, we we have done um, not also a small amount of work toward what the eventualities of these. Um, scenarios might be. Uh, you know, as far as, um, you know, I've had an amazingly um, with my experience with you guys and with this material has been incredibly satisfying and um, I, I, I couldn't be happier with the, you know, the way that you, know, you guys have been able to um, Deep in, you know, it's, we were talking about like we want to go um, deep on these movies and on this mythology and characters, right? Um, and so, yes, am I would I be interested in in whatever medium or whatever way these ideas would give you? Of course, uh, um, yeah. So yeah, and in the meantime. We, uh, we, we forward ahead and do what we do. Um, and so, uh, like, yes, thank you. Um, but I love this world and I love these guys that I've gotten to do this with. 
and allowing me to spend the So thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Zach. So in a long answer, he pretty much said yes, of course he would love to. And in the meantime, we can forge ahead and do what we do and he thanks the fans for the support. So that shows that Snyder is open not only to Netflix, but to any third party to create the rest of the Snyderverse story in any form of medium possible. Which leads us on to a really interesting question. What hashtag should we use to show our demand for the Snyderverse? We used hashtag Restore the Snyderverse since the Snyder Cut was released, and that did some huge numbers. But recently, fans have been using Sell ZSJL to Netflix to show that we don't care if Warner Brothers doesn't want to make it, us fans would be okay with anyone licensing these characters. Zack made it clear that the relationship between him and Warner Brothers Discovery is now a good one very different to what it used to be. They were a big reason as to why we got this event in the first place, specifically Pam Abdi and Michael DeLuca. So he is happy with Warner Brothers Discovery now. We have to remember the old regime is gone and so everyone that caused the big problems at DC are no longer there. So I'd imagine Snyder would be open to working with Warner Brothers again. So I think the best thing to do is use both hashtags together, showing we want the Snyderverse to be restored and we don't care where. So if Warner Brothers Discovery wished to create Justice League 2 and 3 sometime down the line as an Elseworlds project, once their finances are stronger, then we would be happy to see that happen. But if they don't want to make the Snyderverse films, then we would be happy to see it with any third party studio. So using both hashtags would show that demand in the most efficient and accurate way possible. Now one image I've been seeing doing the rounds on social media is this poster that Zack Snyder signed with the words hashtag Snyderverse sell it. Now at first glance that is great, however a video was released showing a fan asking Zack to write that on his poster. Jewish man yo, if you could sign for me and it would make my entire life Zack, yes. if you could sign the hashtags that I put out, sell ZSJL to Netflix and sell Snyderverse to <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> So he didn't just randomly write it on someone's poster. Someone asked him to, and Snyder obliged because he's a nice guy. I think he would have written anything on a poster as long as it wasn't rude or disrespectful to anyone. I still think he wants the Snyderverse to be restored. In fact, I know he does. He's made that very clear multiple times and said it at the Full Circle event. We do know that he is very open to the Snyderverse being made with a third party. So I'm sure he was happy to write it on the poster. My problem with this is that it was originally being shared on Twitter that Snyder wrote it without any mention that it was a request from a fan. I think it may have been mentioned on the original live stream when this image was released, but as of it being shared on Twitter, I don't think anyone was adding the very important piece of information, that being Snyder was asked to write it by a fan. For me, that needs to be a key part of the caption when sharing this image. But that doesn't change the fact that Zack said he was open to a third party making Justice League 2 and 3. So whatever it is, at least we know Snyder still wants to make his Justice League films and he doesn't mind if it's at Warner Brothers Discovery or a third party like Netflix. So we shouldn't give up because Snyder still wants it to happen and so do we. If it was to happen, then it wouldn't be restored for a few years at the very least. But we have some great things to look forward to in the meantime. We have the beginning of the DCU and Rebel Moon, two very interesting franchises that are getting off the ground. So DC fans and Snyder fans have some very exciting things to look forward to whilst we also show our demand for the Snyderverse to be restored. We do have a trending event tomorrow being May 5th to celebrate Henry Cavill's birthday. So if you wish to see the Snyderverse restored, consider joining us on Twitter to celebrate Henry Cavill's Superman and to show the demand for the Snyderverse. Personally, I will be using the Restore the Snyderverse and Sell ZSJL to Netflix hashtags together as like I just said, I think it's the best idea moving forward but feel free to use whatever hashtags you like as long as we show our support for Henry Cavill's Superman and the Snyderverse storyline. The final thing to talk about today is that Screen Culture have made yet another Justice League 2 trailer and this time didn't use any Justice League footage and it looks so good. Like I said in my previous video, this is the kind of thing we need to hype up the fandom. But that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon. So until then, have a great day. Bye.